What was rumored to be the biggest storm in six years hit Northern California last week, the impact it had on RHS. Later this week, students will host a guitar show. Stay tuned to see what they did to prepare and what to expect. All this and more on an all-new TireCast News, December 15, 2014. From Eye of the Tiger, this is TigerCast News. Broadcasting from Studio 403 in Rosedale High School. Good morning and welcome to an all-new TigerCast News. I'm Nicole Kern. And I'm Ian Reamer. Although last week's storm did not hit Roseville area as hard as expected, the rainy wind still affected life here at RHS. We go to Morgan Townsend for, with the story. On Thursday of last week, Roseville High School experienced what was supposed to be a massive storm, although the storm did cause numerous problems for staff and students. Um, the storm, it was kind of scary because I haven't really seen winds that fast, and there was like a lot of rain, and I um, drove by um, Antelope to get to my aunt's house, and like there's this creek that's usually like below two feet. It was all the way up to the street, so it was like seven feet up high, and I was like, well, this is kind of crazy because I've only seen it overflow like one time. Leaks occurred as well in both the J.B. Gale Little Theater and the Portable 34. The freshman girls basketball team game versus Wood Creek and Bella Vista were canceled due to the storm, along with the varsity boys basketball in the Bay Area. I am pretty upset. Not like sad, just I think it was a bad excuse to cancel a basketball game. We are glad to see that no major damage has been done to the school. The e book collection in the RHS library is continuing to grow. Reporter Claire McCaig, which spoke to librarian Mr. Dibble, for more information, here's the story. E books in the library have been available since last spring, and there is now quite a collection of books that are available to check out digitally. So currently we have 150, which probably sounds like a small collection, and it is um, on purpose because, again, and before I invest too much money in the e books, I'd like to see if they're going to fly or not. Um, but the titles we're getting are the titles that are most popular. Though most students still physically check out books from the library, there is still a number of students who utilize the ebook technology here at RHS. Well, since I last checked, which was probably two or three weeks ago, there have been about 30 students who probably use ebooks with any regularity. And by that I mean maybe reading um, two to three books, you know, uh, since we started it. There are a few students who really ramped and, and they are reading almost all their books, you know, on, electronically. Students who own a mobile device are encouraged to check out ebooks from the library. Um, I would like to see more students give them a shot and it's very easy to do. Actually, all students here already have an account set up with the um, application and it's really easy. You just have to download a free app and it can be used on, you know, Apple products or also Android products or on your own computer. So, you know, if you have any interest in them, interest in them at all, come see me. If you have any questions about e-books, uh, contact Mrs. Zadibble in the library. Tomorrow, Student Government's annual cram night is happening. Meet in the cafeteria with your friends for school-wide study sessions, where tutors for various subjects will be present to help students for, to prepare for the finals this Thursday and Friday. It's a great way to take off some of the stress of finals week and collaborate with your peers. Um, I think people should go to cram night because it's a good way to study and you can hang out with your friends and there will be free food. The event starts at 7 and ends at 8.30. We wish you all good luck with your finals this week. Now over to TireCast Sports Network. Thanks Nicole. Josh Carson here with Julia Crawford to update you on winter sports. The Roseville wrestling team lost to Del Campo this previous week 42-27. They will have a dual meet against Oakmont on Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock. Come out and support the team. The JV girls basketball team has dominated so far, winning the SFL CVC Challenge out of all six teams that competed. They also beat Pioneer at home last Tuesday by a whopping 60 points. The final score was 61 to 1. Our team is looking really good this year. We have a lot of, we have five freshmen on the team, so, I mean, we have a young team, but so far for the tournament, we won all of our games by a lot, so I think that we're going to have a great year and like it's a really good start to the year. Girls Varsity Basketball is back with a revamped lineup and renewed confidence. With the addition of three sophomores and returning veterans, the Tigers believe they can make a deep run come league. Now down to Gustavo DiVincenzo with the story. The girls varsity basketball team has started their season off with a 3-1 record. 
I talked to Josh Erickard on what his expectations are this upcoming season. Uh, expectations are high. I, love, I think our team, we've got a good squad. We've got a lot of youth. Uh, got some returners, some seniors that can that can produce, and with our schedule, I think we can compete. With our new league, I think we can compete, and um, I say ex expectations are pretty darn high for us. With three sophomores on the team and only a handful of returning veterans, the skill level on the team definitely ranges. I talked to Crystal Garcia about how this may help or hurt them this season. Um, I think we can go 500 and above. I mean. This year is so different than last year. Last year we had one person who leaded us with everything, scoring, rebounds, and everything. And this year it's so spread out. We have a lot of younger players that are so good that I feel like we'll be able to battle with anyone. Moving from the SFL to the CVC will most likely be a challenge for the team. Coach Eric Hart discusses some difficulties that the varsity team might have this year. Well, there's no question that we were in a, a brutal league last year with the SFL. Uh, and I think the presumption was that the CVC is going to be easier, but in girls' basketball, uh, that's just not the case. We had the CVC SFL challenge, and it, I think it was 17 to 3 CVC. Uh, so it shows that we have a very tough league, very tough schedule. Um, we might not have the elite top teams, but every team in our league is is going to be is going to be tough. So it's going to be it's going to be a, a brutal challenge come league time. We wish the girls' varsity basketball team good luck this season. Now back to you, Nicole. Thanks, you guys. Tomorrow is the annual Winter Art Show. From 5.30 p.m. until 7, the J.B. Gale Theater and Admin Hallway come see artwork created by four students from the R3 class. Admission is free and there will be a reception as well. The Advanced Guitar Class has another show this week. Zoe Stevens, tell us what attendees should expect. The Guitar Class is hosting a guitar show this Tuesday and Wednesday in the J.B. Gale Theater. Guitar teacher Brian Hack is excited for the show, but a little disappointed that the show has to be in the smaller theater. This year, unfortunately, all of our performances have to be in the uh, small theater. We were not able to get into the big theater. But uh, that being said, the small theater, it sounds really good uh, with acoustic guitar. So I mean, it's a great room for acoustic guitar, so that tends to be more of what we feature. Lexi, a singer and guitarist, has experience performing in the shows. So far, I've been in three shows. This is my second term in advanced guitar. The advanced guitar students will play a variety of songs and have been preparing for the upcoming shows this past quarter. My first song is going to be Have You Ever Seen the Rain? And then I will be doing Little Talks. I'm doing Good Riddance by Green Day. I'm doing uh, Christmas Baby, Please Come Home, the cover by U2. I'm doing um, Are You Gonna Be My Girl by Jet, and I'm doing Stay With Me by Sam Smith. Mr. Hack shares his passion for music with his students and enjoys watching them perform. My favorite thing is, is really to kind of sit back and watch, try to get the heck out of the way, uh, not do a whole lot, maybe make a little bit of sound adjustments off on the side. There will be two different shows in the J.B. Gale uh, Theater this Tuesday and Wednesday, starting at 7. Admission is free. This week's Roar winners are Nick Sapp, Jasmine Julian, and Ernest Machuca. Congratulations and keep on roaring. That's it for us today on TigerCast News. And remember, we're always on at eyethetigernews.com. See you next time.